Hi everyone, thanks for joining again. Well, this is a um, tip slash trick video. Uh, we're going to go into something called IP decimal conversion and we're going to see its application in Power Query. So I like to start these by talking about the business need. What is the point of the knowledge? And clearly this is an important conversion. And if you're in network management and you've got responsibility for uh, IP address management within your firm, you've got some, you clearly have knowledge about subnets and IP addresses and you know, the IP ranges and things of that sort. The thing I think some people who are involved in it have trouble with is basically converting from the decimal back to the IP. So there are various software packages out there that will do it. There's something called uh, IP conversion, which is a, a little add-in. And there are packages that will, in Excel, allow you to convert from, from an IP value into a decimal and then from a you can see IP from decimal from a decimal value back into IP, and that's all very well and good. The The issue, though, is if you're involved in a Power Query piece of work, the idea of being of having to stop, exit that, run an application, and then re-ingest re the, the Power Query effort is, in my view, counterproductive. There really should be a way for us to take a look at the IP addresses. We want to sort them. We want to manage them within ranges. We want to do various computational activities on it. There has to be a way to a, convert that in Power Query uh, into a decimal value and then be able to convert it back. So that's what we're going to talk about. Um, I have a couple of different ways of doing it here. There's sort of the simple way that everyone is, uh, I think, pretty comfortable with. And then I've, I've got a, something else I developed, which is sort of a formula parsing as opposed to the traditional way. And then we're going to talk about how we split it back. Okay, so that's sort of where we're going. Let's take a look at the... Um, Let's jump right in. We have uh, two methods here, what I, the method I call column split and the second method called formula split. And let's take a look at the easy one first. You can see here the star statement is simply a, uh, a look up to the, to the range in the Excel file, which is a pretty standard Excel doc, current workbook, etc. cetera. The, the easy way, of course, that everyone is familiar with, it was simply split. We do a column split on the, uh, on the decimals. You can see here column split by delimiter. It's a period, each occurrence, and that happens in one motion. Easy to do. We convert it to values, and then in the uh, in the add column phase, we simply take the the various columns and we multiply them by the exponents. And people are very familiar with doing that. There's no magic on that. You can see IP one, which is this one, 192 times 256 to the third power second power, first power, zero, et cetera. And that yields a decimal value and everyone's comfortable with that, okay? And then I basically here I merged them back and we end up where we started. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five lines of M code and we're able to split from an IP to a decimal value. Very nice, very simple. Everyone's familiar with that approach. Let me introduce something uh, a little different, which is what I call a formula split. One, two, and three. Uh, will get you. And these additional columns are simply going to go through step by step, assuming that most of you are familiar with the Power Query tool. And okay, so you can see on the first one here, we're going to generate a decimal value from an IP address. We've simply, and what we've done here, and let's uh, insert uh, a few spaces here. So what we're trying to do here is we're going to convert it. You can see here from a decimal value, generate a decimal value from an IP address. And when we look at this, we're taking, it's a, it's a text delimiter construction. You can see text before delimiter, and we're basically picking up the first IP. And then we shift to a text between delimiters, and we're picking up the second. Zero means one, so it would be the, would be the second value, the third and the fourth. So uh, we're availing ourselves of text between delimiter function to, to do the parsing. And we're able to do that in one line of code. And so we take that value, um, the text before delimiter, we convert it to a number, and then we multiply it by the exponent value, quite analogous to what occurred in the, in the first one. Let's now go to the, the next piece, which truthfully, um, when I was working in this area, got me stumped, and I had to sort of spend some time and think about it, is how do we actually convert it back? And let's jump into the code here again. So we're, we're trying to, you can see we've got, we're going to separate, we've inserted a line here column by column, and we're going to take step one and take a look at it. So we're basically taking, you can see the, the, the December, the decimal column, and we're dividing it by 
256 to the third power, and we're converting it to a text value. That's easily understood. Step two is a little more complex in that we're now um, we're doing the text conversion, as you can see. We've added to that a number round down, and we're now taking the mod of the of the value, and we're doing a computation of 256 to the third divided by 256 to the second. So this is a nested version of step one. And step three, further nesting again, you can see we've got two levels of mods uh, with the computation here. And then last but certainly not least is step four, where we uh, we we do a um, we do a three level mod with our uh, with our number exponents. Okay, this is the collapse version here. Text from this is level one, it's level two, level three, uh, and off we go. Now, um, let's actually see this in action in Excel because it's it's interesting to look at it in Power Query and because the numbers jive, maybe there's some credibility to that. But let's actually go look at the at the blow by blow in Excel. You can see this is the code that was generated from the from the viewer. And let's just take this first one. You can see the syntax here, right? We've got the Excel round function, which is fine. We're taking K9, which is the, the decimal value um, from here, K9, okay? And what are we doing with K9? We're simply dividing it by the 256 to the third power. Very simple, no big deal. Let's go to the second one. We've got the round function. Now we're taking the mod of K9, the divisor is 250 to 6 to the third, and we're dividing it by 256 to the second. And the third step, again, nested mods, right? 256 to the third, the divisor here is the second, so this 256 to the, to the one applies to this one, and we round it down. And then this is the final one, where we're simply uh, a three-layer nested mod. So that this Excel construction basically is converted into this M code. In three lines of code, we can go from an IP to a decimal value and back to an IP uh, very, very efficiently. Hope that helps everyone. Uh, please give me a buzz if you'd like any more uh, consulting or help on network analytics. Thank you. Bye-bye.